Good morning. Chapter 10, Lesson 9 is on page 467 and 467. We're going to be talking about dividing polynomials and we're going to be talking about synthetic division in the next problem. But these that have just a single divisor on the bottom are kind of no-brainer. So we can break these up. For example, number 1, 24x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus x squared minus 16. All that divided by 8 into small components. And they look like 24x to the 4th divided by 8 minus 4x cubed divided by 8 plus x squared divided by 8 minus 16 divided by 8. So if we simplify this, we end up with 3x to the 4th minus 1 half x cubed plus x squared divided by 8, or 1 eighth, that's the same thing, minus 2. So there's our answer, nice and simple, not so bad for this one. 3x to the 4th minus a half x cubed plus x squared divided by 8, or 1 eighth x squared minus 2. Pretty simple when there's only one number in the denominator. Let's try something like number 17, x to the 5th plus 1, all that divided by x plus 1. The trick in synthetic division is to fill up those terms that don't appear in descending order. Whoa, that's a mouthful. So we got x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x and then finally plus 1. There's our synthetic division. We're faking the polynomial out by filling in things that have zero terms in there. We got a fifth, we got a fourth, a third, a second, and a first for our exponents. So we do this, and this takes practice, just like we used to do the old-fashioned way of division. Just follow me along. x to the fourth. Let me move this out of the way. So we have some space. And now we start to multiply. x to the 4th times x is x to the 5th. x to the 4th times 1 is plus 1x to the 4th. And as we do in normal division, we subtract. x to the 5th take away x to the 5th is 0. 0x zero to the 4th take away 1x to the 4th is negative 1x to the 4th. Now, how do we get a negative 1x to the 4th? Well, we better multiply it by a 1x cubed with a negative sign. So we end up with negative 1, and we should bring down our 0x cubed. So we end up with negative 1x cubed times x is negative 1x to the 4th, and negative 1x cubed times 1 is negative 1x cubed, and hopefully you're starting to see the pattern. We subtract x to the f a negative x to the fourth take away a negative x to the fourth is 0. 0x zero cubed take away a negative 1x cubed is a positive 1x cubed. We bring down our 0x squared. Well, how are we going to get an x squared with an x? Well, we better multiply it times. 1x squared. So 1x squared times x is 1x cubed. I hope I have enough room. 1x squared times 1 is plus 1x squared. And again, we subtract. And we end up with a negative 1x squared. Bring down the 0x. And the only way we're going to get a negative 1x squared from here is to multiply it times a negative 1x. Negative 1x times x is a negative 1x squared. Negative 1x times 1 is a negative 1x. Subtract again, and we end up with a 1x plus 1. 
and we end up with adding the 1 because 1 times x plus 1 gives me the 1 x plus 1 and when we subtract we end up with a remainder equal to 0. So our final answer for this strange synthetic division problem is x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1. Synthetic division. Fake division. That's it for now. We'll see you all tomorrow.